In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you my top five PDF editors that I use constantly to edit my PDF documents. So the first one on the list I have is searchdad.com. It's completely free. Sometimes you don't even have to log in to start using it. So all you need is to come to your browser, open your browser, and you can just type searchdad.com and it's going to bring you to this platform. You can see there are so many things you can do. PDF editing, compress PDF, delete pages, you can merge pages. You can do so many things you can see from here. You can split pages, you can sign your PDF document from here. And you can do different kind of conversions from PDF to Excel, to JPEG, to PPT, to text, and to Microsoft Word. You can see different, different types of uh, features that you can have with this very feature. So all you need is just to drag and drop your PDF file. So you can just click over here to kind of go ahead and navigate to where you have your PDF document and you can go ahead and import it and start editing. So you can just upload. You have the option to click on this drop down. You can see you can upload from these various platforms from Dropbox, from Google Drive or from OneDrive. Or if you have a web address containing that PDF, you can just copy it directly and paste and it's going to give you access to the PDF and you go ahead and edit it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to upload my document from my system. So I have it uh, here, top five PDF editors. I can have it here. It's just a lecture note that I prefer, prepared for my students. So it's going to bring you over here. You can see this is just the document. Okay, so you can go ahead. You, have, you can just click anywhere and you start editing. Okay, you can uh, add anything within the text. And you can bold the text if you select it. Okay, you can select. And once you select, you can bold, you can italize. And if you want, you can choose to increase the font size to any size of your choice. And you can play around with the different font family. Okay, so you can see different kind of font family and the color. You can change the color to any color of your choice. And you can link, create a link if you have a link that you want to add, or you can delete the text directly or you can edit directly, you can just go ahead and play around, or you can click anywhere to add a text, okay, you can type in and add your text. You can see the range of features that you can also work with, the top, you can link, you can create forms, if you're interested, you can add images, okay, you can add images directly, or you can sign your document by creating your uh, signature, you can add a new signature and follow through. You can create, uh, create a whiteout or annotate any section of the document, like creating a strikeout or the about adding shapes or more. You can check out for more and you find a replace within your document over here. So it's very easy to kind of play around with your document. Once you're done editing and adding the content of your choice, you can just come down here and click on apply changes and it's going to apply and process the document for you. So you can just easily export it. You can see it's just been applied. So you can go ahead and you can go ahead on your own and share the document or you can print it or you can just go ahead and download it as save as you define the format. Okay. And then define the location. It's going to save it with this name. So you can say you want it in this name and you just go ahead and click on download and it's going to download it directly for you over here. And you can see it is in PDF, very, very direct and very efficient. So one thing you should pay attention to when using search the PDF is here. Let me show you. To maintain privacy, files stay private, automatically deleted after two hours. Um, free service for documents up to 200 pages and you can do 50 or 50 megabytes of size and it could be three tasks per hour. You cannot do multiple tasks. And I think three tasks per hour is quite uh, fantastic for me and for anyone trying to work with PDF, I think. So this is the beauty of it can work with it perfectly and you can export your document and it's completely free of charge. So this is number one. The second platform that I usually use to edit my PDF is canva.com. You can just go ahead to your browser, come to canva.com. It's easy and it's free to create an account. You can just go ahead and create an account. Once you create an account, you can just go ahead, navigate to wherever you have your PDF document, anywhere. You just drag and drop it on the home tab and you can see it's going to up the, uh, upload it within the document, within the platform. So you can just go ahead and start editing. So just give me some seconds to finish the upload and then I can show you how to edit and play around with the key features. All right, so right now it has finished the upload. You can see the entire thing has been uploaded. So you can just go ahead and click on it to start the, the editing. 
and you can see right now you can edit any section of it by just mere clicking and you can go ahead and edit okay and edit directly and you can add any text of your choice at any given point you can just select and add the text or edit the text and you have the option to play around with the adjustments you can adjust left right you can put in bullet list or you can play around with the spacing if you want you can select and play around with spacing or you can add effects if you want to add effects or you can annotate so you can play around with the position or opacity or coloration of the text you have the option to do all this from here i made a video on how to edit text completely in canva i will link it up in the description and at the top of this video so you can see for any text you select you have the option to bold to utilize to underline and even strike through or make the capitals to be uh, or change the uppercase to lowercase or lowercase to uppercase as the case may be so you can play around with your text it's very easy even with the images you can select and resize the image if you want to resize it or if you want to delete and replace you can easily do that or if you want to duplicate or you can come over here and have the option to do play around with all of these features like the alignment you can change the alignment of the page position center right top you can lock it if you want and do so many things so it's very easy to explore you can just go ahead and explore it and if you want to add other media or you want to add other text within the pdf you can always come here you can add text from here or you can add different kind of elements from here or you can add drawing tools from here many many things you can do and once you're done you can just come all the way to share over here you can come to download and you specify that this one is going to be on pdf so usually i go with pdf standard and then I can just go ahead and download and it's going to download all the 10 pages uh, at once in just one click you can see it is downloading and it's very fast and efficient if you can see it's just been downloaded complete now the next platform I use on my own is WPS Office Suite which is very very powerful and fantastic as well uh, WPS you can get to WPS just come to your browser and type Google you can go and search for WPS Office Suite just like so and then you can click on the first one, the gps.com. It's going to bring you over here. You can just go ahead and download the software. It's just uh, very easy and free to download. You can see you can download it. Once you download, you can come to your launch pad and just type in WPS. You can see it over here. Now you have the option to use WPS in different forms. You can use it on different formats. You can use it on Word, just like Microsoft Word. You can use it on spreadsheets, just like Microsoft Excel. And you can use it on presentation also just like in the PowerPoint presentation that you have. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your PDF with it. So all you need is just to open your PDF or you can create a blank PDF and start working on it also and export your document as a PDF. Additionally, you can convert PDF to Word, picture to PDF, PDF to picture, PDF to Excel and to PPT. You can have all this, all of this access for free to use. Or you can go ahead and open your PDF, navigate to wherever you have your PDF document. In my own case, I have it here. Then you just select and click on open to import it. So you come over here to edit text and it's going to highlight all the text and you're free to just select and add anything or remove anything accordingly. It's very easy. You can just see, you can ed edit the text and once you select any section of the text, you can play around with the text editing features over here. You can bold, you can utilize, you can underline, you can strike through. You can use these uh, indexing or suffix and prefix. You can change coloration or the about. You can use the indenting, the text styling, the list view, and play around with the different uh, alignment cases. So it's very easy to play around with it. And for your images as well, you can just go ahead. So you can select the picture, you can resize it, you can crop the picture by, by just may have selecting and you can see you can select the, the press where you want to crop. You want to crop along this, you can say crop and you can see it just crops. You can flip around if you want and you can do so many things like if you want to replace the text, the image also, you can replace it with any and then you have the option to uh, increase the transparency you can make it 100 right now or you can reduce accordingly you can play around with the transparency and you can complete once you're done and you can extract text from this image if you have an image you can extract the text with, with that some click and then you can just go ahead and keep editing continue to edit or you add your text as you so wish you can click to insert a new text and just this you can see you can insert a text and play around with it now you can see you can convert PDF to Word to Excel to PPT to compress very easy. 
can come over here or you can just go ahead and download it to your, or you can save it on your own by just clicking on Control s you can see you've saved it or you can come down directly and say file and then save as and then you can specify the location where you want to save this assuming i want to save it here so you give it a name uh, you can say trial one you can go ahead and save it directly you see it's been saved or you can come ahead and go ahead and share directly and you can save it in pdf or attached to a document and go ahead and submit now the fourth platform that i usually use is adobe express adobe express is also free to use all you need is just to come to express.adobe.com on your browser you just need to create an account if you don't have an account it's free to create an account so once you create an account you'll be landed up to this platform you can see you have a range of features that you can use directly at the home tab you can create a custom size or you can create logo flyer poster instagram posts instagram stories facebook posts youtube thumbnails you can do all this create all this and export it free of charge on your own but for our own case you can see down here we have the most popular features and you can have images then you can convert you can resize you can remove background and so on but our own case today for today for this tutorial is we are on pdf you can come to pdf feature over here there you can see you can convert to pdf any document um convert from pdf to any uh, package edit text and images organize pages and combine files you can do all that from here so you can go go ahead and say edit text and images by just clicking here and it's going to give you the option to add drag and drop the pdf or you can browse the file directly let's say i drag i browse the file and i say i'm going with this i can select same pdf you can see it has just uploaded the pdf and it's just like the other ways you have like the adobe acrobat or on platform so you can see you can edit your text by just mere clicking you can just select and you can you can just go ahead select any section of it and you can add any text or anywhere you can add any text very easy you can see and you can select any form of the text any section of it and you have the option to play around with the uh, font style very easy you can play around with the font style the font sizes you can change the size and coloration as well you can change the color and bold the text you can italize it if you are interested you can italize you can underline you can do all sort of alignments from here this is for the text you can do the same for the image you can select the image and come to the edges and resize it uh, you can see very easily you can undo things and delete things from here so it's quite easy and fantastic to edit your text and play around with the features once you're done editing and you're certain with what you have you can just come over here and click on download and it's going to download it for you so you can see if you have been downloaded you can just come over here and you can see it over here downloaded as even 754 dams adobe express you can see once you open this you have access to a pdf document it's very easy and it's free of charge also to try now the last platform that i used on my list is pdf element which is very nice and fantastic to access it it's powered by wondershare so you can just go ahead and come to uh, pdf.wondershare.net and it's going to bring you over here pdf element or you can go to your browser anywhere search for google and you can go and search for pdf elements and you can see it the first one pdf wondershare.net just like we've explained i need to bring you over here so you can go ahead and download it and start using i've downloaded mine i've installed let me show you how to use it so assuming i have this um this platform i want to open my document the other document that i just edited previously so i can just right click come to open with i can go ahead and say with pdf document or pdf element and you can see it has just opened my document so it's very easy you can go ahead and edit so once you are on the text format you'll be able to play with the text you can see you can select and be able to play around with the text you can add more text or you can edit text you can highlight the text and you can play around with the features from here you can play around with the coloration okay so you can change it to any color and you come over here you have the issue of alignment you can align center align left and I write if you are interested and you have other text editing features like the font style over here you can change the styling you can change you can make a regular you can change the sizing and make it 14 or 24 28 accordingly you can bold you can italize you can underline 
you can strike through also if you want and once you're done you can always move out or well, as, as you select the text you can also create new text if you're interested directly and if you want to edit your image all you need is just to come to image and you can come down select the image you can see you have a range of features you can play around with the size manually or you can on your own come to the edges and increase or decrease the sizing very easily and you can flip it on any axis on x and y axis you can flip it or you can do cropping if you have the option if you're interested you can crop from edges once you're done cropping you can hit on this uh tick sign to to just crop to that axis or to that point you've selected and extract the cropped image if you're interested and then once you're done um if you have add any link that you want to add you can easily add and if you're done also editing if you can come all the way to the top file over here and say save as you can go ahead give it your name specify location and say save and it's going to save it in that format in pdf uh, as you've selected so it's very easy to make use of this and very very fantastic to edit your document so ladies and gentlemen these are my top five pdf free pdf editors that i use to create to edit my pdf and adding images played around with the text and export them in pdf i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.